टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन सो बिफोर गोइंग इन टू दैट जस्ट वी हैव टू लुक ऑन वॉट इज द सेंट्रल डोगमा ओके सो सेंट्रल डोगमा इज ए फ्लो चार्ट ऑफ हाउ द डी एन ए इज कन्वर्टिंग इन टू द प्रोटीन ओके सो दिस इज फर्स्टली वी आर हैविंग द न्यूक्लियोटाइड सिक्वेंस विच इज कॉल्ड एज ए डी एन ए ओके इट इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन स्टोरेज एंड फ्रॉम हियर बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसक्रिप्शन द डी एन ए गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड इन टू द एम आर एन ए ओके इट इज द जस्ट रेप्लिका ऑफ द डी एन ए बट इट इज मोर लाइक इन सेंस फॉर्म राइट लाइक इट इज हैविंग द कोडिंग एज वेल एज लाइक इन डी एन ए देर इज टू पार्ट्स वन इज द एक्जोन अनदर वन इज द इंट्रॉन बट इन एम आर एन ए देर इज ओनली coding part will be there which will go to the protein okay the uh, exon part intron will be removed while the processing and all okay so this dna when codes for rna this procedure is called as the transcription okay and this uh, um, then this rna when converted into the protein then this process is called as the translation and this complete flow chart from dna to protein uh, this complete flow chart is called as that central dogma okay so here we can see that this is the uh, two strand of the dna one is the 5 days to 3 days end and another one is the 3 days to 5 days end okay and uh, this is the mrna sequence so this mrna sequence is identical to always identical to the coding strand okay and uh, it is complemented to the template strand okay so just remember this thing like uh, mrna uh, the uh, whatever mrna sequence you will get that will be the exactly identical to the uh, coding sequence of the dna okay it it will also start from the like 5 days to 3 days in okay and uh, it is it will be complemented to the template strand right and uh, the only difference between this identical sequence is uh, in case of dna there is thymine and in case of the mrna there is uracil okay rest of the uh, like um, nucleotide will be same o okay in case of dna only it is thymine and in case of um, rna it is uracil that is the difference and it is uh, very much uh, means it is completely identical with the coding sequence and this uh, coding strand is also known as the sense strand okay and this template strand is known as the antisense strand okay so uh, this is the um, uh, conversion of dna to rna okay and it is this procedure is called as the transcription so there is a different type of the rna and their function so the most common type of the rna is mrna rrna and trna okay this mrna is called as the messenger rna this rrna is called the ribosomal rna and this trna is called as the transfer rna okay and uh, this mrna is um, useful for the protein synthesis okay because uh, the protein uh, the amino acid sequence is forming from the uh, uh, mrna itself okay and uh, this is um, um, this rrna is ribosomal rna but it is um, it is uh, code for only those protein which is uh, produced from the ribosome okay so uh, this is the um, ribosomal um, rrna and this is the trna which is helping in the uh, charging of the um, uh, uh, amino acid during the uh, protein synthesis okay and apart from that there is um, a regulatory rnas is also there like si rna and mi rnas okay it regulate or it uh, silence the over expression of any kind of um, transcript okay or uh, translation uh, procedure it will regulate through the si rna small uh, interference rna or the um, uh, mirna uh, through the mirna okay and apart from that there is the small nuclear as well as the small nucleolar mrna which is helpful in the mrna processing or rrna processing okay mm, uh, this we will see in the after translation means uh, once the um, um, transcript is produced that time the processing should be happen for um, removing the intronic part so that time this rna play role okay and um, in inside our body when we wanted to silence particular uh, protein expression that time we can use this uh, si rna and mi rna uh, uh, mi rna okay 
so uh, what is the transcription so transcription is the synthesis of one uh, rna molecule using one of the two dna strand as a template by the enzyme rna polymerase okay so this transcription happen from one uh, only one uh, strand of the dna not from the two strand okay and which strand will act as a um, template strand which will be like 3 days to 5 days end okay and the 5 days to 3 days end will be identical to the rna sequence okay so um, through the um, enzyme rna polymerase okay so here you can see there is two strand okay and this uh, uh, this uh, orange color um, um, round shape is called as the RNA polymerase and this is the start of the transcription and this is the direction of the transcription. Like in case of DNA, the um, direction of the replication was 5 days to 3 days in. So here also the um, direction of the RNA synthesis is also 5 days to 3 days in. Okay, so the lower uh, strand is called as the template strand and the upper strand which is from 5 days to 3 days in, it is called the non-template strand or coding strand or sense strand okay and uh, here we can see there uh, the light green color uh, is the um, newly synthesized rna and in this form this is called as the rna dna hybrid okay so uh, in um, uh, like in case of the prokaryotic uh, transcription it is very much uh, different from the um, eukaryotic transcription right so uh, because the prokaryotic is very easy um, system so that's why here uh, the um, uh, only uh, single type of RNA polymerase participate for the transcription of different type of RNAs either it uh, it will be like mRNA, rRNA, tRNA everything will be um, uh, produced by the single kind of RNA polymerase but in case of the eukaryote there is different kind of um, like three different kind of the RNA polymerase there which produces different different um, RNAs okay so in case of pro um, yeah in this is the in case of eukaryotic uh, in prokaryotic there is no um, intronic part so that's why the mrna is directly getting converted into the uh, protein but in case of the eukaryotic there is uh, so many intronic region is there so after processing and splicing there will be only exonic part which is called as the um, MR, uh, mrna and it will transport from the nuclear and then in the um, um, cytosine so it will uh, secrete the protein okay so uh, as i told you uh, in case of bacterial um, uh, transcription in this class we will basically talk about the bacterial uh, transcription okay we will not go for the eukaryotic transcription uh, because that is very complex process and uh, in this class it is not possible to cover the uh, those two means uh, transcription together so that's why here I will discuss more about the bacterial transcription, okay? So uh, the enzyme which is responsible for the transcription is the uh, RNA polymerase which is a kind of DNA dependent RNA polymerase, okay? Because here uh, what we have seen is the RNA is producing from the DNA as a template, right? So that's why this RNA polymerase is DNA dependent RNA, uh, RNA polymerase and it um, uh, don't require any kind of primer for the polymerization as you remember like in uh, case of dna replication that time the rna um, um, rna polymerase required um, uh, the primase required the rna primer sort rna primer for the dna initiation right but here the rna uh, polymerase itself is sufficient to initiate the uh, transcription pro uh, process so it doesn't require any kind of the primer for the polymerization okay and it required DNA for the activity and is most active with a double stranded DNA as a template. Okay, here also there is no need to like firstly the DNA will got separated and then um, uh, the transcription will start. It is not like that. Okay, so here um, the RNA polymerase will only uh, unwind the um, uh, uh, duplex of the DNA and uh, meanwhile it will synthesize the mRNA. Okay, and the synthesis will take part from 5 days to 3 days 
uh, in and it require it is a magnesium dependent enzyme so um, it required the magnesium ion as a cofactor okay and um, here um, it um, uh, like in case of dna polymerase it um, it had the um, exonucleus activity from 3 days to 5 days in but in case of rna polymerase there is no exonucleus activity okay so because uh, like um, um, uh, what i can say is the um, error rate is already reduced during the uh, replication time right so this time the error chances is very low okay so that's why here the rna polymerase is not having this exonucleus um, um, activity if it is occur so it will persist throughout the like um, uh, protein expression okay so there is no way to um, uh, rectify those uh, errors so that's why uh, like um, uh, for um, before going into rna um, uh, production the um, cell system, cell machinery uh, in the beginning itself it will rectify all the errors during the replication okay then only it proceed for the rna uh, synthesis okay so um, yeah so it is a uh, multi sub unit enzyme this uh, bacterial rna polymerase is multi sub unit enzyme okay so here we can see that there is um, six uh, different sub units of um, rna polymerase one is the alpha second one is the beta beta dash then um, uh, omega uh, uh, omega and then sigma factor so uh, without sigma factor this uh, whole uh, subunit is called as the core rna polymerase okay and once this sigma factor bind to this uh, complete uh, core enzyme it is called as the hollow enzyme okay so this uh, complete system uh, without sigma factor it can produce the rna uh, by using the dna template but it can't uh, produce on a proper site okay so for um, synthesis of rna on a proper site it required the sigma factor because here the sigma factor is uh, working as a recognizer it will recognize the promoter sequence okay in the promoter sequence there is two type of uh, thing one is the minus 10 and minus 35 sequence okay so it will uh, the sigma factor will go and uh, um, firstly search this uh, sequence in the dna sequence okay and once uh, the sigma factor find this sequence the rna polymerase uh, will go and sit uh, this um, particular sequence and start the initiation of rna okay so without this sigma factor this um, uh, subunit can synthesize the rna but uh, it uh, it won't be any proper place okay so for proper place uh, uh, to be synthesized the rna it required the sigma factor okay and once this sigma factor added into this complex this is called as the hollow enzyme okay and um, these are the function like uh, this alpha subunit will determine uh, what dna should be go for the transcription okay and um, it will um, um, it will um, organize all uh, other subunit of the uh, rna polymerase okay and this beta um, subunit after uh, means after recognizing by the sigma uh, factor the promoter sequence this beta uh, subunit will catalyze the polymerization okay and uh, this beta dash will bind and open the dna template okay and this uh, sigma factor will recognize the promoter for the synthesis of initiation and this omega um, uh, uh, omega subunit will um, helping help in the subunit packaging with the alpha subunit okay so these are the function in um, exams it can be also asked so you have to remember like all the function of different different subunit so the uh, main function uh, of all the all these um, subunit is one is the sigma factor which is helpful in the recognizing the promoter sequence and uh, start initiation of the um, um uh, rna synthesis and another one is the beta subunit which is helpful for the polymerization uh, it catalyzes the polymerization okay so these two factor are very much essential in the uh, in case of rna polymerase okay so yeah so in um like in transcription also there is two phases like in case of dna replication okay first one is the initiation second one is the elongation and third one is the uh, termination okay 
so um, this rna polymerase uh, firstly uh, as i told you this rna polymerase go and uh, search for the promoter sequence okay uh, the sigma sub uh, sigma sub uh, unit will search for the promoter sequence and what kind of promoter sequence it uh, it will search which is having the ttg aca region okay this is the consensus sequence okay which is present in the um, uh, downstream of uh, minus 35 of uh, the um, uh, promoter sequence okay and um, as well as it will also find the tatat region okay which is also called as the 10 um, minus 10 sequence okay and uh, after binding here um, uh, so uh, here you can see that uh, this is the DNA polymerase okay so uh, this is suppose this is the promoter sequence okay which uh, sigma um, subunit identified and after binding this uh, here what uh, RNA polymerase um, will do is it will little bit open up uh, this uh, DNA okay because he uh, it got the signal like from here we have to start the RNA synthesis okay because this this is the um, transcription start site so uh, after searching this sequence it will uh, start the synthesis from here okay and uh, uh, like um, the rna will quickly um, uh, uh, what i can say is terminated okay so um, uh, means uh, there is no um, primer uh, before it okay so that's why what will happen is the um, until unless the 8 to 10 base pair it is amplified uh, it can be terminated uh, before that okay once this 8 to 10 base pair rna will um, rna uh, will synthesize then only the sigma factor uh, will remove from this um, um, uh, this uh, open confirmation okay and then RNA polymerase can continue the RNA synthesis from here okay until that this sigma uh, factor provide the strength also to like uh, not to terminate um, before uh, that the RNA synthesis okay so once this um, uh, after synthesis of 8 to 10 base pair RNA uh, the sigma factor will release and then the RNA polymerase will go for the elongation phase okay uh, where the um, free 3 days OH will uh, like um, uh, add the free nucleotide in in that and uh, then uh, it will continue the um, uh, RNA synthesis okay so uh, here uh, like the first nucleotide on the RNA uh, transcript is always purine, trif uh, purine triphosphate okay that you also have to remember like it is always purine triphosphate which will be um, uh, like uh, during the RNA formation suppose this is the starting uh, 5 days in the nucleotide so it should be always purine nucleotide it can be either GTP or it can be either ATP where um, all the three phosphate will be there okay because it is the starting point and after that what will happen is um, when new nucleotide will come that time the phosphodiester bond will uh, form between two nucleotide right so that time the gamma and um, beta phosphate will remove and only alpha phosphate will be there and it will be um, uh, uh, incorporated into the uh, this uh, M, uh, mrna okay so uh, the triple p uh, this is the triphosphate gpn oh structure remain on the rna transcript until the rna synthesis is complete okay so here uh, the first nucleotide will be having uh, the uh, triphosphate okay so remaining all the nucleotide will be having only single phosphate okay so um, and uh, the three molecule um, form a transcription initiation complex okay so this is called as the transcription initiation complex where the rna is little bit means it is around 8 to 10 base pair the rna is formed the um, rna polymerase is attached to it and um, uh, there is dna is also there so there is uh, this uh, this complex is called as the initiation complex or tri complex okay ternary complex so um, for the rna synthesis there is no need of the primer and uh, the sigma subunit falls off from the rna polymerase once the first 3 to 5 uh, diester bond is formed okay 
एंड द कोर एंजाइम मूव्स अलोंग द डी एन ए टेम्पलेट टू एंटर द एलोंगेशन फेज सो वंस दिस सिग्मा सब यूनिट विल रिमूव देन दिस आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज गॉट स्टेबल ऑन दैट डी एन ए टेम्पलेट एंड इट विल मूव फॉर द एलोंगेशन फेज ओके सो इन एलोंगेशन फेज Uh, what happens is uh, uh, the release of the sigma subunit causes the conformational change of the core enzyme okay because now only the core enzyme will be remain in the rna polymerase okay because sigma factor is already removed so this core enzyme will slide on the dna template um, from 5 dash to 3 dash end okay and um, uh, because here you can see that there is a oh group ओके मीन्स सपोज दिस इज द एडिनोसिन ओके सो इट इज हैविंग द ओ एच ग्रुप विच कैन एकोमोडेट फॉर फास्टफोडाइजेस्टर बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन इट रिक्वायर ओ एच ग्रुप राइट सो इट विल इट विल एक्ट एज ए प्राइमर प्राइमर फॉर द नेक्स्ट न्यूक्लियोटाइड और कमिंग न्यूक्लियोटाइड ओके सो दिस दिस थ्री डेज इंड विल प्रोवाइड द एडिशन ऑफ फर्दर न्यूक्लियोटाइड ओके एंड फ्री एन टी पीस आर एडेड सिक्वेंसली टू द थ्री डेज ओ एच ग्रुप ऑफ द नेट आर एन ए स्ट्रेंड ओके सो लाइक दैट द एम आर एन ए विल बी इलांगेटेड थ्रू द आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज फ्रॉम फाइव डेज टू थ्री डेज डायरेक्शन ओके then the last step is the termination step so in the termination step um, uh, like in case of the bacteria uh, there is two kind of termination one is the um, uh, row dependent another one is the row independent okay so row uh, dependent termination is um, what uh, like uh, firstly the row uh, factor will go and bind to the root site of the dna um, uh, sorry in the rna Uh, sequence okay there is a site called root okay so in root site uh, this row factor will go and bind and it will also slide um, until unless it will reach to the um, dna rna hybrid and where the rna polymerase is um, um, bind with those uh, rna dna duplex okay here so this row is a kind of helicase okay so uh, what it will do is um, once it will reach here like uh, rna dna duplex it got the signal like from here only uh, the rna should be synthesized so it will through helicase activity it will break the um, rna and it uh, um, it will help to dissociate the rna from the dna duplex okay and all the um, factor will be disassembled from this uh, dna and it uh, um, it will be found as a um, complete mrna okay and uh, in case of the row independent manner what is happened is the row independent manner um, there is uh, like um, uh, in this uh, mrna um uh, there is hairpin loop will create because of the complementarity between uh, two um, means same type of nucleotide it will create complementarity so that's why the rna will be create one hairpin loop like a structure so when this structure will um, form that time uh, the uh, rna polymerase got signal like uh, the rna synthesis should be stop here okay so um, this structure formation is act as a um, termination site okay so when uh, when this uh, will form uh, the rna will stop uh, rna polymerase will stop the synthesis of rna and it will um, dis, uh, dissociate from the uh, rna template and um, secrete the uh, uh, like single strand of the mrna okay so this is the complete procedure of the um, transcription of bacterial transcription we can say okay so in the first step in the initiation step like um, the rna polymerase is having the sigma factor which will recognize the promoter sequence okay and in the promoter there is two sequences one is minus 35 sequence and another one is the minus 10 sequences okay and these sequences are the consensus sequence consensus sequence means if you are comparing two sequences okay uh, two or three suppose uh, human mouse like that you if you are comparing the um, particular uh, dna sequences okay and um, of a particular site so the concession sequence means each uh, suppose in human if it is t okay so in the same position in mouse also it will be t only 
okay and other organism also it will be t so like that there will be a complete motif okay which is called as the uh, concession sequence like here the t t g a c a like that okay t a t a t uh, t type of thing okay so this is called as the concession sequence so this concession sequence will be recognized by the uh, sigma factor and once this is recognized then rna polymerase go and sit on uh, that particular site and it will start the synthesis of um, RNA and this particular um, complex is called as the uh, ternary complex because here uh, DNA, um, uh, yeah, uh, DNA and uh, RNA is little bit started for synthesis and uh, the um, uh, RNA polymerase is also there. So it is called as the ternary complex or the transcription initiation complex. Okay, and uh, the um, RNA, uh, the first nucleotide for RNA synthesis will be always purine triphosphate. It can be GTP or as well as the ATP. Okay, and um, there will be like first nucleotide will be having triphosphate and remaining will be having only single phosphate. Okay, and um, it is having the three days OH group will uh, which will occupy the um, next nucleotide. Okay, and uh, um, like that the elongation will happen and once uh, the elongation is um, 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 carry forwarded one um, sequence will um, suppose uh, here like the termination will occur where the um, uh, row factor bound uh, bind with the root uh, sequence and once it will um, reach to the RNA polymerase uh, here uh, this row factor will get signal like here I have to stop the RNA polymerase to further uh, synthesize the RNA so here um, after reaching here it will um, do the helicase activity and it uh, it will separate this RNA from this DNA duplex as well as this uh, RNA polymerase will also uh, dissociate from this complex and row factor will also dissociate from here and um, um, uh, again it will uh, go into the cycle and uh, this uh, uh, in case of row independent uh, thing there, uh, there will be uh, hairpin structure will form in the mRNA okay due to complementarity so that time the RNA polymerase will get signal like here I have to stop the uh, RNA synthesis because the hairpin loop is produced okay so this will um, help to dissociate from the um, DNA duplex and then again this um, uh, RNA polymerase uh, will uh, dissociate from there and uh, mRNA is also free from the uh, DNA duplex okay so these are the different inhibitor which inhibit the transcription process uh, or the RNA polymerase process. So the first very common uh, antibiotic is the rifamcin. Okay, so what it will do is it will bind to the beta subunit of the RNA polymerase and block the initiation of transcription. Okay, as we know that this beta subunit is helpful for the catalysis of RNA polymerase. So it will bind uh, to the beta subunit and uh, it won't allow the RNA polymerase to start the transcription. Okay, and uh, the next one is the actinomycin D. Okay, so this actinomycin D intercalate between the GC base pair so that um, uh, uh, the um, elongation won't happen okay suppose this is the uh, g and c like that sequence is there so this uh, actinomycin will bind here so that the rna polymerase can't move from g to c right so it will hamper the elongation process of the transcription okay then uh, you are having the cordycepin okay cordycepin it inhibit the elongation phase of the transcription so here you can see that this is the analog of the adenosine okay so once um, while synthesis of the rna when the um, in place of adenosine if suppose this cordycepin is uh, introduced okay in the mrna template so it is not having the um, uh, three days oh group okay here it, it is only having the edge it is not having the three days oh group like in case of the adenosine it is having the oh group in the three days prime okay so if it is introduced here then um, there will be no chance to add more nucleotide um, um, into here okay so it will also act as a inhibitor for the elongation phase of the transcription okay so if it is introduced here there is no uh, free 3 days oh group so that's why no more um, nucleotide will be added in the um, mrna okay so um, the transcription will be terminated there itself okay 
सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट इनिवेटर दैट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर बिकॉज इन एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इट कैन बी आज लाइक रिफाइंस इन एक्ट ऑन वॉट्स अब यूनिट ऑफ द आर एन ए पॉलिमरेज एंड विच स्टेज ऑफ द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन इज इनिबिटेड बाई कॉडिसेपिन और एक्टिनोमैसिन डी लाइक दैट इट कैन बी आज सो दैट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर and this cordycepin is the analog of the adenosine that also you have to remember option d will be the correct option because uh, as i told you the sense strain will start from 5 days to 3 days in okay and the 3 days to 5 days in uh, in the um, uh, strain is called as the template strain or anti sense strain okay so here in from the given option you can see that um uh, this is completely identical to this sequence okay uh, a and in case of uh, dna it is t and it is u then g g then again a then c c a g a okay and um, others are not matching with this sequence okay so this is the correct um, means um, uh, option uh, from the given option it it will be the correct answer okay so like that you can identify like which is uh, which uh, which is the like uh, mrna sequence okay it should be always identical to the sense strain okay so don't confuse with the like uh, uh, if you will start from here like five days in then um, this sequence will be correct okay because here in place of a here it will u and uh, then it is um, c okay then u again so this sequence will be looking like correct but uh, we have to remember like the 5 days to 3 days in the rn um, uh, the rna sequence is identical to the sense strain not to the template strain okay so this uh, this sequence is identical uh, will be identical to the uh, anti sense strain or the template strain okay this this one not uh, this one okay